Greetings everybody. Today I am coming to you from my front end squeaky 2014 Mercedes-Benz GLK 250 Blue Tech. Um, I watched a video uh, yesterday uh, that kind of disturbed me, especially the, the guy's reaction and the number of subscribers he has and so forth. I'll go into these details. So, I don't remember his exact uh, channel name, um, but he has almost 200,000 subscribers. He's a BMW mechanic, and he was doing an oil change on an E250 Blue Tech, and when when he held up the uh, the oil bottle, it was Mobile One 5W30, but it was the wrong one. It was the one for gasoline engines. I looked through the comments; several people called him out on it, and. His smug and arrogant and ignorant response was basically, it doesn't matter, or something to that effect. So this poor customer who's taking their car with a rather expensive emission system and engine is trusting this guy to do proper maintenance on their car. And he's essentially, I mean, it's not going to immediately make their car blow up, but it's something that will damage the car as they drive it with the wrong oil in it. Now, here's several things that diesel engine oil is uh, will, will do compared to the gasoline engine oil and what it's designed for. Uh, just off the top of my head, and I'm sure there's I'm sure there's more than just this, but so the diesel engines go through a periodic regeneration process of the DPF. At least the modern diesel engines do. And in, in uh, as such extreme temperatures are generated, like in excess of a thousand degrees. Um in certain areas under the hood, um, the exhaust gas temperature gets that high and some of that heat um, affects the oil. Uh, the, the proper spec diesel engine oil is designed to withstand those types of things. And um, the gasoline oil is not. Um, so you're gonna have premature breakdown of the oil uh, just with that alone due to the temperatures. Now another thing is uh, diesel engines uh, put a lot of um, soot into the oil and the gasoline, the oil for gasoline engines is not designed to cope with that. Uh, whereas the, the diesel engine oil is designed to cope with that. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who own diesel cars, uh, if you change the oil and then run the car for a couple minutes and then check it on the dipstick, it's black already, and that's normal. Um, and the oil's definitely designed to, to handle things like that. I've, I've, um, I've run tests on, on oil with Blackstone uh, in my diesel cars before, and uh, despite the way it looks, it's still perfectly fine. So, I don't know exactly the right words to use, but uh, it it's holds that in suspension or disperses it or something like that so that the oil can still do its job. And the gasoline engine oil is not designed for that type of thing. So, you know, that's, that's the stuff inside the engine. Uh, the lubrication pro properties of the wrong oil will break down prematurely and uh, lead to all kinds of problems inside your engine. Now that now we're not we haven't even talked about the emission system yet. 
Um, so the the diesel spec oil also contains what's called low low saps. Um, SAP stands for I'm going to get this wrong, but uh, ash soot soot ash phosphorus sulfur I don't know something like that basically stuff that needs to be significantly reduced in a modern diesel engine so that it does not poison the emission system um, so if you if you use the uh, the high saps oil that's designed for a gasoline engine in a diesel engine it's going to cause issues over time with the emissions system because it's going to be sending um, contaminants into the uh, particularly the diesel particulate filter that don't belong there and so as a result you're going to have issues with your emission system as well and you know there's probably other issues I'm not even aware of um, that would happen because of that yeah so so one thing I do always before I buy a used diesel car is I check the service history on it to make sure that the proper oil was used um, if you see uh, oil changes for a Mercedes Blue Tech done at a, a Jiffy Lube or Walmart or something to that effect you know chances are they're probably using the wrong oil and as a result it's going to cause problems whether that's for the present owner or, or an owner uh, shortly down the road you definitely want to avoid that um, on this particular car I uh, I know that the oil changes were done on time, with the exception of one. Uh, I ran over about 4,000 miles, but I'm not worried about that. But it was always <clears throat> the 229.51 or 229.52 oil that was used. Um, I believe Mercedes changed their spec. It, in the owner's manual, it says the 229.51 oil is what you want to use. Um, but I believe they changed their spec later to use 229.52. So they're both low sap soil, but the 229.52 does a couple extra things. I think it's a little bit better on the fuel economy. And I can't remember what all else I read. It is, it, as I understand it, it's backwards compatible with the 229.51 specifications. But, you know, tying it, tying it back to my original premise about how this uh, mechanic with that many followers is just blatantly, willfully, and ignorantly giving out bad information to people um, and a lot of times people in his audience probably are not going to know any better and they're they're going to think oh okay I've got a diesel Mercedes I'm going to go ahead and use uh, mobile one gasoline oil and you know the, their logic is probably oh well it's it's synthetic you know it'll be fine um, no, it, it won't be. The one thing I don't have data on, and I will, I will say this, is exactly how long it would take to start ruining things. You know, again, it's not going to blow the engine up immediately. But over time, it will poison the emission system and cause internal damage on the engine. I mean, I, I would say, and you comment down below what you think of this, realistically, it could uh, shorten the engine life and emission systems life by tens of thousands of miles. 
um, if not hundreds of thousands of miles. Now, the, the, the particular engine in the car I'm driving now, the OM651, it is a remarkably robust engine. But, you know, it's, it's funny. Um, there's, there's several random issues reported about this engine with things like the timing chain and so forth and issues at way, way, way lower miles than what mine has on it. Um, mine has just under 150,000 and you know on a cold start um, this thing just sounds perfectly quiet from the, the first tick over um, and I, I believe that's largely because it had the proper oil I think a lot of these issues that people are having with these engines are because the wrong oil was used and um, you know we we don't have any way of knowing that necessarily I mean I guess I could always comment on some of these videos where people are showing issues like that and ask what oil was used but I think a lot of times owners of these cars don't even know what oil was used in in uh, oil changes and so forth so hopefully this reaches some people um, you, know, you gotta you gotta take the information that's out there with a grain of salt even if it's coming from somebody who is supposed to be an expert um, yeah it was it was just the most disappointing to me that that BMW guy would just blatant shoot people down for, for calling him out. I mean, that's just willful arrogance and ignorance right there to, to do something like that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not calling him out specifically by name, but just a warning to people, there is a lot of bad information out there, and um, you, you, you really got to do your due diligence the, the best way to get the correct information is to call the Mercedes dealership, give them your VIN, and ask them what the part number and spec is for the, for the oil to use. That's, that's the best advice I can give you. Um, I bought this car from a dealer. It's a guy I've dealt with for a while. He's he's the one that purchased my uh, some of my other cars. And um, when this showed up at his lot, he did the oil change on it prior to delivering it. Now I've seen a lot of lots do the same thing. They'll take a diesel car like this and change the oil with gasoline engine. Then when you ask them what oil they use, they'll give you either a vague answer. Or, or no real answer but this guy basically said well I called the Mercedes dealership and had them send over whatever they recommend and then when he provided me the, the receipt it clearly showed the 229.52 oil that uh, they used in this you know and it's it's more expensive oil but Ultimately, you know, you can run it safely for 10,000 miles and it's going to save a lot of money in the long run, especially if you plan on keeping the car longer term. You don't want to mess with using the wrong fluid. So, anyway, I've rambled on long enough about that. So, hopefully this saves somebody from making a costly, or I should say potentially costly mistake with maintaining their modern diesel car. All right, have a great day, everyone.